Welcome back, I am some guy you've never heard of, and this is the tale of Narf and the Scald. Where'd you come from? Yes, a spider. Oh. What? Ah! Oh. Wrong shout. Uh, Lady Emberheart, if you would join, uh, Lady Emberheart, if you would join us. Mind yourself. There's a vicious bear on the loose. Mind. So. There's a vicious bear on the loose. Yeah, I would be more concerned about the two saber cats that just jumped you. Where did that pillow go? I'm pretty sure that's who we were looking for. There you are. You there. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. It takes like a day to run from one end of Skyrim to the other. How have you taken that long tracking a single bear? And I'm sorry, Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. <laughs> I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires. Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the eight. Nine. All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. All right, fine. I'll go take care of it. Is it in this den? Oh, there's multiple bears. And a wolf, from the looks of it. And a spider and a troll. Um, could you not run out in front of my fire? There's a shrine of Kinnereth here. Interesting. You just take a leak in this pot. I want a carrot in this one. 
impacts are called apostates. Talonwood, they're treated similarly to how the Thalmo treat Talos worshippers. Is it wrong that I find your fiery friend attractive? No, not at all. She's cute. I mean, I find her attractive too. Gadnor? Okay, what what did his last wish there say? Gadnor's last wishes. Gadnor, my trusted friend and companion, has been laid to rest. I have built a shrine to watch over him and bring peace to weary travelers. Of the few riches Gadnor possessed in life, his most prized was a warmer hammer made of a jagged crystal he famously won in a coin toss. After months of research, he came to believe this hammer was some sort of otherworldly treasure. Shortly before his passing, it was his wish that it be hidden away until one who has walked the Shivering Isles emerges to retrieve it. I have followed his instructions to the letter, and a powerful illusion spell now obscures it. To break the smell, one must first acquire pieces of what supposedly make up the weapon itself. Amber and madness ore. Such things, if they actually exist, would be, a, would be great treasures in their own right. If the enchantment is correct, only by placing the ores onto the embers near Gadnor's body will the spell be broken. If Gadnor is not mad, perhaps one day this peerless weapon will find its way worthy into worthy hands again. Interesting. There's no... Oh, I'm assuming his body was closer to the fire before I shouted. Okay. Oh, there's iron in here. You are making me tired just watching you. No, I'm sorry, Inigo. I don't mean to wear you out. Okay, now where did the other bear carcass go? There it is. And now to skin the troll.
You know, now that I'm not urgently trying to save um, someone I consider family, I think it'd be lovely to go do some mammoth hunting. But that last time, when we weren't trying to at all, that was really frustrating. And I'm sorry, I know only one of you was with me at that point. No, sorry, you were with us. Never mind. Sorry, Inigo, I know you weren't with us at that point, but it was really frustrating. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's Beacon, I assume. I've never heard of Stendar's Beacon, but he said to meet him at Fort Dawnguard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well... I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Alright. Um, now, I guess it's time to see return to... Alright. I guess it's time to return to Eastron. <clears throat> do we have anything else we need to do in this general area? Oh, we need to return to um, that priestess of Mara. Oh, where's the ancestor? Oh, that's back in your home, isn't it? It is, that's right. But we're not doing that yet. Have to retrieve something from Bully's house. Okay. We have so many things to do. Okay, kill a dragon somewhere. Where is this dragon? Oh, it's by Morthal over there. Okay. Oh, we haven't been there either. I'm guessing there'd be a word wall there. Um. And then there's a word of power in Hag's End. Where's Hag's End? 
up there. Okay. Well, let's get to Riften and do the things that on our on our list that are in Riften. And then after that, we'll return to Fort Dawn Garden. We are Riften's up there. Okay, what was this thing about Bully's house? Headed north right now, right? Right. Okay. We are. It's pretty late also. Yeah, it looks like the shops are closed. Coming, Blackbriar. You're asking for trouble walking around with dangerous magic like that. I'm not walking around with dangerous magic active. It's wearing a dangerous spell. No, it is not. You people need to stop being so prejudiced about magic and be able to tell, like. What's... No, you're really not. You should get out of here. Just don't write any more venomous letters to people, okay? Okay, um... Temple of Mara. Police House. Distance. Maramal, you should know better. Oh, and Maramal, actually. Where did you go? Lee, stay away while you got that spell on you. Um, can I buy an amulet of Mara, please? Lost the last one I gave you? Very well. Here you are. Mara, keep you. Yeah, I'm not sure where I put it. Thank you. Turn to her benevolence and safety. Well, I mean, I would, but they she keeps, uh... They simply don't understand. I'm oh, so there's sorry, Dinya. You must remember, what? There to be in You're Not two are married? Concerning. Yes, yes, I know. I just wish to show them that there's more to life than drowning your sorrows in a goblet of me. Well, the tavern is not an appropriate venue for that. How would you like it if they came in here and started drinking? Everything has its time and its place. Okay, and sermons don't belong anywhere but in the temples. Or at a shrine. 
all are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Um, I hope the forlorn lovers of Markarth. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Okay. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Alright, so I actually have to wear an amulet of Mara for this. Okay then, which uh, which necklace am I taking off then? Man, I wouldn't have just bought that amulet from Marhamal if I had known you were going to give me one right now. Oh well. Um, let's see. I have my replica Daedric Amulet of Talos, which is pretty decent, and it's a um, it's a keepsake from my time with Rigmore. Let's see. And I have my Amulet of the Elder Council that I made, ah, which is fire and frost resistance. Nice. <gasps> I, okay, well, I guess the Daedric Amulet Talos is off for now, and the Amulet of Mara is on. I know how I learned, what was it? I've mastered enchanting. So I could take Miracle, and then the next item I enchant could have three enchantments on it that are 25% stronger. So in theory, that Amulet of the Elder Council, I could make one... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was stealing. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll pay. I'll pay the difference. You can have the flower back. I'm sorry. It was a blue one. There. Did you welcome to her benevolence? What are you pleased to meet you? I'm a priestess at the Temple of Mara. There you go. Sorry, I didn't mean to take your flower. Temple of Mara. What are you implying? Do you mean to tell me that my gushing hero was beside me all along? Has got your back? I'm good. Um, do you think you might wear one of these amulets again? I will not suffer the embarrassment, my love. But perhaps another will do so on my behalf. I have not given up hope, you see, that someday dashing prince will look past this medley of scars to see the real me. Two hands are better than one. No, well, I prefer one-handed weapons, but two each their own. I wonder, now that I'm wearing this amulet, if anyone else is going to propose to me. Oh, what a waste. What's happened? If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. You're still leaving that body there. Why? Why are you still leaving that... Drink up, my Another boy. Another lost soul lost. Drink to those who have fallen. Are you around, Lifton? Take my advice. Oh, excuse me, uh, Maven? I do. I wanted to let you know that there's a plot to steal Frost. Don't tell me. Sibian Louila Trush? 
Well, Sibby is in jail, and Latrush is certainly welcome to try. My hired help is more than a match for him. Actually, Latrush wants me to steal the horse. Really? Now that is interesting. Then you should know that Louis and I have a certain history. Tell you what, go along with his plans for now. I'll keep an eye on you both, and when the time is right, I'll settle accounts with you. I can't keep up with you. Oh, hey. Well, if I have your permission, then it's not actually stealing. Got it. Hey, Bully. I'm sure there are much better things. It's particularly lively right now. Food for the hungry. Never mind. I just had that apple I packed a few days ago. Well, I should probably eat it while it's still fresh. Hey, Kirava. The coin? You're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Oh, I have coin. I have so much coin. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Could I ask you to not watch me sleep this time, though? I'll show you to your room. Right this way. No, I, I know which one you're going to show me, too. I'm good. You, maybe you guys shouldn't be talking about your affair out in the in the tavern like this. No wonder your No wonder your wife propositioned me. Okay. Speaking of which, I want to talk to her. Oh my god, it is so lively here right now. Um ten or two compared to a day full of fishing. That's not funny, Bowley. People are scared. I'm gonna get some sleep. Hopefully. Please, please, have Isron send us to fight vampires next. That's one of my favorite tunes. I fell in love with a pretty bandit girl once. She robbed my heart, then How ate it in happen? front of me. I don't know, but why are you Aww, dancing on the so table? Romantic. Reminds me of someone. Okay, um... My skill in battle is unmatched. Fortunately for you, that skill, skill can be gone. bought. Okay. Let's go out. Work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I earned every septum of this honestly. My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lad. Wealth is my business. Yes, but my wealth is not. What? What did you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Okay, what kind of errand? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. You're kidding, right? Sorry, I usually have a no 
nose for this kind of thing. Never mind then, lad. If you change your mind, come find me. You are off your rocker. I have earned every single coin honestly. I'm walking away from you. What do you mean? Okay, let's see if we can find... Oh. Nivenor? I think her name was. Well, I suppose while we're out here, we might... Um... Excuse me? Yes. Is there some reason you're sneaking around, laborer? Um... What do you think you're doing? You need something? Yeah, I need to know what the hell you're doing. Yeah? Stop it. Okay. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? Oh, uh, maybe. Um, what do you have? Anything pleases the eye. Don't hesitate to make me an offer. Um, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Diamond ring, gold jewel necklace, Nordic amulet. Well, that's not bad. That's at least something I can't make myself. Circlet is nice too. That's not a circlet. That's more of a tiara. A circlet implies that it's like fully goes around. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry, Medassi. This just really isn't my speed. Um, good trading swamp swimmer. What's going on? Oh, there's someone invisible. With arrows through them. We. Oui. Nice. Okay, I was looking for someone. Need something? No, I'm good. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Not today. I'm looking for. Holy's wife. By the nine, I hate the waiting. The goddamned waiting. What are you waiting for? Would you like to hear a performance? Well, did I drop that in someone's boat? I didn't mean to do that. There we go. That's Honor Hall Orphanage. 
I still need to visit that one fellow. The child that asked me to kill that person. Right, that's the Black Briar meter, Evie. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. On east side. Helga's Bogging Cups. Where does this Bolia live? That's Aaron's house. That's Bolia's house. Okay. Oh. It's not locked. No, I'm not. Read instructions. New in town, eh? Here for if you're looking mission. for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. Yeah, I don't blame you now, now that I know that he's having an affair with someone. Um, I have a note that implies a thief planted something in your strong box. Oh. Um, I can check it out for you, make sure it's not a trap. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Oh, well, thank you. Voli's around somewhere, planning to feed the poor with his nonsense about Mara. Well, you can't feed the poor with nonsense about Mara. Now, these cheese wheels, on the other hand... I'm guessing it's the strong box in on the nightstand, I think it was. Oh, maybe I will. I'm not quite in the uh, lazing away my days fishing stage of my life yet, though. Necklace of the Zodiac. Interesting. Apparently none of this is stealing. Well, let's go ahead and read the these strangers' instructions. You've made it this far, which proves you're ready for the real work. But first, let's go over why you're here. You may have heard the gray fox is dead. That's true, but the fox lives on in the one who wears the cowl. This job will tell me if, the, if that person is you. No, I don't. I don't wear the cowl. Who am I? That's not important. Just a stranger who wants to see the cowl passed on to someone who deserves it. Oh, you're the Grey Fox. Okay. As you might expect, the job won't be easy. It requires fast thinking and fast fingers. But get it done, and you'll be worthy of being the next Grey Fox. I'm not a thief, though, so... Take the forged deed in the strong box. Then find a woman named Geesley in solitude. On her, sh on her should be the real document. You'll relieve her of this burden, then place the fake in Eriker's house. She'll think she misplaced it. When the job is done, find the barrel behind the winking skeever for further instructions. A stranger. Okay. Interesting. With my husband's newfound religion, what I do with our coin and what I do all day seems less important to him. Suits me. Oh, um, sorry. You know, I'm going to read her journal. I've always despised my husband's charity, but at least it was just coin. Then he let that stranger into our home for dinner. He was an odd sort, prone to forgetfulness and, wan and a wandering eye. I wasn't sure if he was staring at my bosom or the amulet around my neck, but stare he did. It wasn't entirely unwelcome, but I wasn't about to flirt in front of my husband. 
Besides, it turns out he, was, he wasn't staring at me at all. He actually wanted to know about the creepy doll behind me, and asked if I was expecting. I told him I wasn't, and the doll was for one of Boldy's charity cases. Erica in solitude asked us to take in a child for reasons that are beyond me. I told Bully I wanted nothing to do with the urchin, but my husband is stubborn when it comes to his bleeding heart. Luckily, a few days after the dinner, the boy just disappeared, and I know better than to care. Okay. Interesting. If you're looking for a handout, you want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. You most certainly could. Hey. You're that one from the college. I've heard about you. I. New in town, eh? Yeah, I'm the newest bard. Well, I I might not be the newest anymore, but yes. I'm definitely from the Bard's College. I mean, I've enrolled at the um, College of Winterhold, but I've attended one class, and that's it so far. Uh, was there anyone else I wanted to talk to? Yes. Can I help you? No, thank you. Strifa. I kind of wanted to check in with Mule and see how she's doing. Okay, we didn't have anything else to do in whatchamacallit, right? I'm curious. Okay. Alright, for that we're supposed to go to the plains the central plains not far from Rorikstead. okay got it and that's the word of power in hags and I suppose Blackbriar Lodge is kind of on the way, so we might as well go ahead and take care of Frost. I have to wonder, what does the Dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thune be taught like any skill? Um, well, the Greybeards give him some weird initiation thing, and then pretty much send him on his way. And apparently their understanding of things can be shared, but um, normally learning the Thune takes a lot of time and meditation and patience and such but for the dragonborn it's quite a bit easier because uh he can just absorb the souls of dragons and use those to help him understand words that he that he comes across um so depending if he can find word walls pretty quickly and slay enough dragons he can actually learn the thum Pretty quick. Um, I hope that answers your question. It's not every day that someone asks a random question that I'm actually knowledgeable about.
There's dead saber cat just chilling here. Makes me wonder what killed it. And if that's something we need to look out for. I do not need this many soul gems. What? I'm gonna put all of them away except for the petty souls. I'll use those up first. My weapons will not it. Not what I meant to do. Everything was pretty much full. Good. Um, hi. For some reason you're charging at me. Good job, Zora. There don't appear to be any horses here to steal. 
So there we go. No, I'm looking for some lineage papers and a chest. Is this the chest? No, I don't think so. It's interesting. There we go. Okay, now we just need to find Frost himself. Where does one find a Frost? 
I would assume in the stables, but they appear to be empty. Frost is way off in the distance near Day Spring Canyon. Interesting. I guess something spooked Frost, and Frost is no longer at its home? Here's Day Spring Cavern. Where's this horse? not frost, right? No, I don't think so. I think you're just a horse. Alright, well let's see if I can find a way up there. Going around here. I wasn't actually going to Day Spring Cavern yet. I'm looking for this horse. Out with it. Out with what? Iron. No, silver, actually. No, I can't harvest it. Oh, well. Where is this elusive horse? I'm assuming that's the elusive horse in question. Alright, I'm gonna mine the silver though. Okay, I saw him a moment ago. Excuse me, are you Frost? There we are.
Wait, where am I supposed to bring this horse now? That way. road here. Adventurers fighting a troll. Okay. Not our concern. Now, where is Louis Le Troll? Is that a troll fighting Spriggans? Okay. I'm just looking for Latrush. I seem to be overshooting wherever he is. Oh, there he is. Why are you running away from me, dude? I have the horse. Ha! You've done it! Got to admit, I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you've definitely earned your pay. Yeah, you know, actually, I'm going to Maven unless I leave here with Frost. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. Fine, you win. Take the horse and leave. Well, oh, and you paid me anyway? Alright, where did he where did the horse go? Frost? Frost? Where are you? Frost? Crap, where did our new horse go? There you are, Frost. Hello. Who's a good horse? You're a good horse. Yes, you are. I like you. And that's actually going to be it for today. Thank you for tuning in. This has been the tale of Narith and the Scald, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>